so someone um you know a follower on my channel has asked me to uh comment on the controversy going on right now with uh stellar blade you know i i thought about it and i thought about it and i thought about it because i have no plans on uh playing this game at the moment i'm not saying i won't play it ever but as of right now i don't have any plans to uh play this game let alone uh, you know spend money to invest in it uh when it comes out and I believe this is scheduled um, for a late April release. Um, so it's it's not too far away. It's like right around the corner. A little over two months from now, basically. So there is a, a controversy that's going on right now with Stellar Blade. And the, the controversy is related to something that many would probably deem to be stupid or silly. I deem it to be another nail in the coffin as to why i really don't want to uh invest in this first of all when they showed the uh the trailer it re-revealed this game because originally it was called project eve and then you know they changed the name to stellar blade which that's not really a, a good name for a, a, an action game it's a very generic name if anything you know, just reiterating what my stance is based on what they've shown thus far. I think the combat system looks okay, but the, you know, the primary reason why I'm not really interested in this is because it looks like other games that I've already experienced, particularly like uh, Bayonetta. Um, some people are trying to compare this to Nier Automata as well, which again, I'm not going to get into that again because I've already uh, commented on that. Um, before. That's the primary reason why I'm not really interested in Stellar Blade is because clearly it's derivative of other games that I've already played. You know, I don't really have anything to say about it gameplay wise. It's rather the, the tone and just the, the concept itself that I'm, I'm not really uh, feeling. So the controversy, once again, going back to that, getting back to that, the controversy is related to the, the main character. The main character is this uh, attractive female uh, character with like a, a slim, a tall, slim uh, figure, um, almost like a, like an hourglass shape type figure. From what I've read, the character is based off of a Korean model because this, this is a Korean game and the uh, developer Shift Up, um, which I believe is like a newer, a newer studio. They're a Korean uh, game development studio. Uh, here's the thing about this character. I think this character, uh, the concept for this character is modeled after 2B from Nier Automata. So let me pull up a, a picture of 2B. Okay, so this is 2B as she appears in Nier Automata. Uh, the character dresses in all black and has these very high boots that she wears and uh, there's a noticeable and intentional um, lack of clothing that starts well above her hemline and stretches to her thighs and again this is intentional with her design uh, the, the developers dressed her that way on purpose for a reason and clearly that reason was to attract a, a male audience, especially a, a younger male audience. But the design was so provocative that it ended up attracting a lot more than just that. 2B is a very popular character. 2B is featured in a lot of different games as like a guest character. One of the games she appears in as a guest character is Soul Calibur VI, for example. Um, and she appears as a guest character in other games as well some of which the names are escaping me. So, very popular character, but the reason 2B is popular, it really has nothing to do with her story. Um, there's not particularly anything interesting about the character's story in that game. Um, in fact, she's killed off before the end of that game. There's, there's really nothing um, to talk about on that front. The reason the character is popular is because of the design. 
and what the developers allow you to do with the character in game. And uh, what I mean by that are things like this. This is a screenshot that someone used for their YouTube video of the character in game where when you're going up ladders you can shift the camera and look up the character's skirt and you can see her butt and she's wearing nothing but literally uh, a thong basically um, and then there's other things that made this character popular such as the fact that uh, this is one of the costumes in the game you can remove her lower skirt that she wears and just have her run around sem semi-nude so this character uh, Eve this character Eve from Stellar Blade seems to be modeled very closely after 2B when it comes to the characters um, not the, the characters sexuality but uh, the sexuality of the character in terms of the character's design and there's there's also um, over 30 different uh, outfits or some something I read for this um, and they showed off a few of them during the the state of play the Sony state of play as a result of this Stellar Blade has been rated adults only in Korea you know the ratings board over there they didn't even recommend it for teenagers which you know it looks like that's what this game is is um, being marketed towards in the first place are teenagers particularly male teenagers apparently the the reasons for uh, the rating is uh, for two reasons number one uh, there's excessive violence now that's not really much of an issue I'm seeing plenty of uh, violent games over the years uh, probably the most violent would be the last of us part two that's not really you know a, a huge factor the other reason is due to um, excessive nude nudity and the thing about nudity in entertainment is that normally it adds nothing to a, a story a fictional story pretty much almost 100% of the time it's in there gratuitously meaning it's in there basically for no reason it doesn't add to anything um, and um, creators just throw in nudity be it you know whether it's in a movie uh, or a video game what have you usually it's thrown in to attract an adult audience that's clearly the target audience that I guess they're going for is adults I don't know what um, levels of nudity that this game has because once again I haven't really seen it um, in action to that degree um, I haven't played the game myself so I don't know what levels of nudity uh, that there is but it must be quite extensive um, for this game to receive a uh, an adult only rating so here's uh, basically my opinion on the controversy quite frankly I've kind of spoken about this topic before um, this all comes down to how women you know fictional female characters are portrayed in video games um, is basically what this controversy boils down to this is another example of a uh, an Asian developer that's taking trying to take women back to basically the PS2 era where uh, female characters were basically over sexualized across many different genres from many different developers for storytelling in, in video games became more prevalent you know developers started taking storytelling more seriously I really don't want to return back to that era where female characters are just objectified primarily because that sort of thing is for a particular age bracket and that's really for like young uh, teenage boys primarily me personally uh, I'm a 30 year old grown ass man so you know all of the uh, the weebish as they call it um, anime bullshit that they had in the uh, the state of play trailer for for this game from the design of the the female you know lead to uh, the music and just you know the overall tone and everything it's not something that attracted me 
and that's that's a big part of the reason why I, I don't you know I don't want to support Stellar Blade. And I just want to give some examples of what I'm talking about when it comes to you know fictional designs for female video game characters. When it comes to uh, female video game characters now, the best designs go for uh, a minimalist approach. That's you know basically more more of a, a realistic, grounded you know design. Any anything that that's grounded in realism usually tends to work. So I'm I'm going to pull up some examples here. Some of these characters are from you know major franchises. So we have uh, Elena Fisher from the Uncharted series. This is her Uncharted 4 design. This character and other female characters from uh, the Uncharted series, you know, Naughty Dog did a great job because they went with a minimalist approach. Character designs look real. They look like people that you could actually meet in real life. The, the female characters weren't hypersexualized. Another great example would be uh, Claire Redfield, her redesign from the Resident Evil 2 remake. Capcom has done a fantastic job with their female characters uh, for, you know, some of the recent Resident Evil games. Once again, a grounded, realistic design, minimalist approach, looks like, a, you know, someone that you could possibly meet in the real world. Overall, good design. Uh, isn't hypersexualized, isn't sexualized at all, actually. Another good example, Aloy from the Horizon series. Um, some people had an issue with uh, her design in Forbidden West because, oh, she doesn't look like a supermodel. Newsflash, most women don't look like supermodels. With this particular design, again, it's a minimalist approach. You know, the character is very recognizable for, you know, her braided hair. But ultimately, once again, looks like someone you could possibly be in the real world. Um, the character isn't sexualized at all. And uh, her design fits her environment. And I can pull a few more characters here and uh, they all fit the descriptions of what I just went over. All of these characters have minimalist designs, a grounded realistic approach as far as you know their uh, their face goes. They look like people you could possibly meet in the real world and actually a lot of these characters are based on models anyway you know from people who actually do exist in the real world so again from a design standpoint these designs work you know for modern female video game characters but then you have the few that are not good you know i, I did mention that stellar blade is very reminiscent of a game that I'm familiar with and that's one of the reasons I don't want to you know I, I really don't want to play it and that game is uh, Bayonetta I've never been a fan of Bayonetta I haven't played Bayonetta 2 or 3 due to the um, the games being locked to the Nintendo uh, consoles I do have both games on an emulator but I haven't played played either one of them as of yet but I did play the first Bayonetta, and I was not a fan. Um, basically, it was the female version of Devil May Cry, done worse than Devil May Cry does Devil May Cry. And I was not a fan. I wasn't a fan of the story, which was extremely stupid. I especially wasn't a fan of the main character. The main character, the, the concept of Bayonetta is that she's a witch, that uh, her suit is made out of her hair, and she uses her hair as a weapon. Um, it's about as silly as it can get. The character just looked strange to me. The, the very long, very long legs, like the character is extremely tall. And taller women, it's, it's very difficult to, um, to design taller women in, you know, video games. And then, you know, certain aspects of her design, like the fact that she wears heels and her heels are actually like guns or something. And she uses that in combat, not to mention just the obtuse and just 
again, hypersexualization of, of the character um, was a big turnoff for me. Um, I've never been a fan of, of Bayonetta, the, the game or the character, um, as a result. Terrible design. Horrible design. I think sh they did a better job with her design for Bayonetta 2 and 3, but I still don't like the character. And the story, you know, if, if the story for 2 and 3 is any anywhere near the level of quality as the first game, then, yeah, I'd imagine that I wouldn't be a big fan still, having not played those games. Another example of terrible design when it comes to a fictional female character in a video game, a modern video game, would be uh, Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5. Basically, uh, Quiet was literally a mute in the game, a mute character, a character that could not speak, and she was like some kind of sniper, um, skilled, highly skilled sniper, uh, you know, character in the game. She really served no purpose in the story, and uh, her design was provocative and what 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 really like rubbed me the wrong way with this character and um, I think was a big turning point for me with uh, Hideo Kojima as a as a uh, developer and as a storyteller is when he tried to justify this character has this r ridiculous design and he basically came up with something stupid to say that quiet breathes through her skin if she wears a lot of clothing then basically she's going to suffocate, which makes no fucking sense. This character uh, in particular was called out by other uh, male developers from other uh, development studios within the industry. That's how bad this design is. So this is, you know, once again, characters like Bayonetta, stupid ass character, and some other examples, this is, this is on the, the low end of the spectrum when it comes to uh, quality designs for female video game characters in the modern industry as it exists now. But not all bad modern female video game character designs are sexualized. Perfect example. Uh, pretty much everyone knows who this is. This is uh, Abby, the villain of The Last of Us Part Two. This character is is terrible for a different reason. Actually, for multiple reasons, but Abby was pretty much thrown in for shock value. She was only created for shock value. She was thrown into the game for that purpose, and that's why she's a terrible character. Character, you know, kills off the, the much well-liked uh, main protagonist of the first game, The Last of Us, which is one of the most, you know, beloved video games of all time. It's one of the most well-known video games of all time. It has you know, become a, a pop culture sensation for a reason. And uh, this character kills off the main character of the first game, Joel, within the first two hours of the game. They don't stop there. They force you to play as this, uh, as this bitch in the second half of the game for hours. This was done to force uh, some kind of theme about revenge and uh, why revenge is bad and yada yada. I'm not going to get into it. It was just a very strange uh, direction that they uh, they went with uh, with The Last of Us Part Two from a narrative perspective. But from a design perspective, this character is terrible as well because she's not really realistic. Abby's design, from what I've read, is based on an actual like person in real life. They do have like female bodybuilders, they do have women that do have a physique like this, but they're not very common. I personally have never seen, um, outside of the internet, I've never seen a woman that has a physique like this. And it's, it's very rare if you'll run into somebody like that. Very rare. There are women, there are strong women that, you know, engage in like weightlifting and, and what have you that take that kind of thing seriously, bodybuilders, essentially female bodybuilders, and they don't have this this type of physique. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. Uh, and it feels like Naughty Dog created this character almost, almost to appease uh, feminists. The design itself is, ex 
you know, it's extreme. It's extreme in a way that's uh, a turnoff. You know, there was a reason why that game was so controversial. And uh, as as such, um, I've never been a fan of this character. I still don't like Abby to this day. Single-handedly, the, the character basically ruined um, The Last of Us Part Two, especially from a storytelling perspective. Which is sad because, you know, the game itself is actually really fun to play. The ga like, gameplay-wise, I don't really have anything bad to say about The Last of Us Part II. Um, I've actually come to appreciate the game more um, because of its gameplay. But the story is still bad, and that's not going to change. And the reason for that has a lot to do with this character. So, you know, this is um, another example, but it's a, it's a different kind of example as to, you know, how not to do... A, a modern design for, uh, you know, a fictional female character in a video game. Modern video game. And like I said, video games uh, today have done a fantastic job when it comes to uh, modern female designs. Um, here's another example uh, from the Resident Evil series, you know, uh, the Ashley character from, uh, you know, Resident Evil 4, the remake. Again, very minimalist approach. The character isn't sexualized at all. You know, the character is taken a bit more seriously than her original counterpart. It's a good design uh, that's reminiscent of, you know, the original without going overboard. A lot of the, the female characters from Cyberpunk 2077 I didn't have an issue with. I had an issue with the sexual su suggestive, you know, themes in the game. There were a lot of advertisements throughout the city, uh, throughout Night City in that game that were very sexualized and basically uh, for no reason, again, gratuitously. And I didn't really care for that. But when it comes to the actual, you know, female characters themselves, I didn't have an issue with, you know, any character in that game. As I don't think anyone else did either. Another, another example from, like, an Asian game is uh, Tifa from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, this design, I think, um, a lot of people let slide for uh, one major reason, and it's because, you know, even though what she's wearing isn't practical, and it makes no sense, and she's supposed to be like this uh, martial artist or whatever, and she's wearing like a tank top with her, her navel showing, and uh, a, a, a skirt, like a, a really like low-cut mini skirt or whatever the case, it doesn't make sense. The fact is, this is, you know, it's it's a remake. It's not just any remake. It's a remake of Final Fantasy VII, one of the most well-known video games of all time, one of the most beloved RPGs of all time. And this is basically what Tifa was wearing in the original. So, you know, it made sense that Square Enix would try and keep the, the same design. They could have updated it, um, but had they have done that, they probably, you know, would have created a, a controversy. This design I don't really have an issue with because it's of the nature of what what game the character is from. I don't really have an issue with uh, this particular design. So this Eve character from um, this uh, Stellar Blade game, uh, when it comes to her design, clearly the developer only has one thing in mind, and uh, that's made more evident. Uh, not just by, you know, the gameplay footage of the character um, dressing provocatively in different outfits that uh, no normal uh, female would uh, wear under most circumstances, especially for a fictional character um, in a sci-fi setting such as hers. Uh, you know, that's also made evident from, you know, the developer who has uh, given interviews and uh, has basically expressed being a, uh, a weirdo. That's the problem with designs like this. I've seen a lot of people try and defend designs like this online because they like looking at you know, semi-nude or fully nude women. You know, that's... It, like I said, it's, it's weird. Because at the end of the day, this is a video game. It's an action video game. Looking at fictional female character in uh, an action game or any other type of game for that matter is is weird it's it's not normal and uh, it shouldn't be the reason why people go out to, to buy this it almost seems like 
developers that do this, and it's always an, an Asian developer for some reason. Western developers have, have basically outgrown dumb shit like this. So it's always some Japanese dev or some Korean dev or whatever. But it's usually, um, you know, a developer overseas that does dumb shit like this. If you want to look at, you know, semi-nude women or naked women, I mean, they got webcam sites and shit all over the place. I guess there are consequences for being a, you know, a creep motherfucker in real life, but, you know, maybe that that's why people um, are attracted to designs like this, because they can be a creep motherfucker in, you know, the confines of their own home and not have to worry about being charged with anything. You know, whatever floats your boat, I don't, you know, I don't understand people like that, but... You know, it's shit like this, for me personally, it's shit like this as to the reason why I grew out of watching anime, because you know, anime is filled with characters like this, with ridiculous designs like this, and uh, it's it's one of the reasons why uh, I fell out of uh, watching anime, is because of the, um, you know, the over-gratification and just hypersexualization of uh, fictional, you know, female characters. For for a lot of people, it's a phase and whatnot, but then for others, um, it's a phase that they don't grow out of. And uh, I've seen cases where, I'm talking grown-ass men, I've seen cases where it's it's become quite disturbing. And people like that could be considered as, as dangerous, because you don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Like I said, I've seen people like that, and, and it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a funny thing. To, uh, to to laugh about it's it's not a joke um, I don't find designs like this appealing and uh, developers really need to stop doing shit like this like it's it's not there, there's no point in doing this if, unless you're trying to attract a, a certain audience and it seems that uh, there's uh, some weird ass motherfucker on this uh, development team that has some authority in the development of of this game and he wanted a, a design like this I mean that that says a lot about you know that person that's just my take on it either way I have no plans on playing this game I have no plans to cover this game and again I only made this video because I was pretty much asked to, to do it and uh, I thought it was a discussion worth having so um, yeah stellar blade once again, comes out at the end of, uh, towards the tail end of April, I think on the 26th. I have no plans on playing it. Will I play it? A game like this would best be suited for a demo release, but uh, considering the controversy, maybe they, they should forgo doing that. Um, that's up to them. Uh, I don't have anything to do with that. And uh, the last thing I'll say is, for people that like designs like this, I mean, I don't understand why people defend you know, hypersexualization of female video game characters because because those people can always just go and buy the PC version and then upload, you know, make and upload their own mods or download the mods of other like-minded people that's like them. You know, so here's an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, someone went in on the, the PC version of the Resident Evil 2 remake and made this uh, ridiculous, basically, whore costume for uh, Claire, the Claire Redfield character, and uh, clearly, you know, they overemphasized her assets, and then they gave her a choker, and uh, I've seen a lot worse than that, right all the way up to um, full nude mods, which they have for pretty much any female video game character that you can think of from any game that you can think of. Uh, they got full nude, nude mods. So, I mean, if if you're that concerned about wanting more uh, provocative designs for female video game characters, you may as well invest in a, a gaming PC and, and uh, learn how, how mods work. Um, and it's not very complicated. That That's what I got to say about that. This, um, this particular game, Stellar Blade... It's only coming out on PS5, but I guarantee it's going to be released on PC at some point. Because, you know, Sony, um, they've expressed interest. Um, they've actually expressed more interest in wanting to be more aggressive with their uh, PC strategy. Um, and wanting to get more uh, PlayStation games 
uh, on PC. I, I'm not going to be surprised if, um, you know, this game gets announced for PC at some point. So that's the controversy. That's my opinion of the controversy. For me, it's another reason why I'm not buying the game. Um, it's not the sole reason. Um, it's not the most important reason, but it's one of the, the reasons why I'm not interested.